Hi guys, it's uh, NM4 here with the Sony Xperia S smartphone and this is part 2 to how to root your Xperia S smartphone. In part 1 we went through how to unlock your bootloader and in this part we're going to go through actually rooting the phone. Now if you just to go over what we went over last in the last video just quickly and that was um, if you need to have certain prerequisites for this to work and if you just take a look at settings and then about the you need to have a for this process to work you need to have a model number of LT26i and there are a couple of build numbers that are only compatible with this um, and that is build number and you need to pay attention to the final set of digits there uh, 67 is the one I have and the other one which is compatible is 63 we're, what we're going to be doing is downloading two files uh, sorry one file depending on if you have 63 or 67 there's a, a different file for each I'll put a link in the description to both so depending on what you have you can download just that one particular file according to your build number I have 67 so I'm going to be downloading the 67 firmware so once you're set and you've made sure that your phone's compatible with this process just go to uh, settings and then applications and then development and just switch on USB debugging there uh, say OK to the warning and then what you can do you can come out and then shut down the phone just power that off it shuts down pretty quick so we'll just wait for that to shut off I'll just get that keyhole open for the USB the phone's off so uh, what we're going to be doing is holding down the volume up rocker keeping it pressed down and inserting the USB cable the drivers were already previously installed in part one of the video so this should go straight into fast boot mode you got the blue light there just symbolizing that it's connected and it should stay on the blue light just to confirm that fast boot mode is on that's fine so I can let go of the volume up button now now we're on the PC you can see uh, we've got the unlock Xperia Arc bootloaders file from the previous part one video um, make sure you've still got that file there okay and once we go inside of it you'll see that we've got the two unzipped folders and the two zipped folders that we d originally downloaded now what we're going to be doing is going loading to fastboot with android usb file and then you'll have two folders in there which say fastboot and usb driver we'll need to go into fastboot and then copy the image in here that we download i've also uh, i'll come out of this for a second uh, if you see i've got another icon next to there called uh, system xps pre-rooted 67 fw image now that is uh, the image if i can get my words out that is the image specifically for the 67 firmware as we saw on the phone so if you've got the 63 firmware as i said i'll leave a link in the description to where you can download both of these depending on which version you have download your specific version only so once you've got it open up the unlock Xperia I've pasted it on my desktop both uh, the file that we downloaded for the firmware for the time being so go to open up the unlock Xperia Arc bootloaders folder and as I said before go to fastboot with Android USB file folder then go to fastboot folder now you're ready so and then drag and drop the image file into this location I'm just gonna move it okay now that that's moved into the same location as the fastboot.exe and as you saw in that video uh, in this video you rather just click in an empty space so it's not selected hold down shift on your keyboard right click on the empty space and click on what it says uh, open command window here that opens up command window to that location within the PC so we'll just leave that there a second and what we need to do if I just minimize that a sec uh, I'll bring you up a notepad file here first of all if you remember from the last video we're just going to type it in this get var version command just to make sure that the phone is connected and we are getting a response time back so just uh, I've got it typed up here it's just called fastboot.exe space i sorry hyphen i space 0 x 0 f c e space get var space version or, or we'll put it in the in the description so you can just copy and paste it so select the line copy it right click and copy go to the command prompt window in the top left of it where you have the little icon just in the last video right click it go down to edit and then paste 
and then copies it exactly all you do is hit enter on your keyboard and it comes back with a version and a finished total time in so many seconds so the phone's connected because it's come back with a, a time if you get anything other than that that means there's a problem with either the USB cable the drivers or the command prompt isn't open in the correct location so once you get a time back you can move on to the next step which is if you, the second line that I've got in the notepad file as highlighted here says fastboot.exe space flash space system space file name notice the file name is in uppercase characters what we need to do is go back into that file where we put the firmware so we go into the bootloaders file fastboot with android usb file and fastboot folder there's the file that we downloaded we need to copy that exact file name so to cut out any typo errors what i'm going to do is right click on it go down to rename and it selects all of it right click it copy it and just click in an empty space just to make sure it's not the name isn't changed just remember that the file extension is .img so we now can get rid of that we've highlighted the name file name in the notepad file so right click it and then paste and then it copies the name of that file exactly and we'll just put in dot .img at the end of it because that was a file extension now that's exactly how it is so we'll select that entire line now right click it to copy it then go down and copy go back to the command prompt window and again in the top left of the screen where you have the little command prompt icon next to in the title bar even right click on it go down to edit then paste so it copies it exactly and then hit enter and then it says sending system and then the file in kilobytes as I said it's uh, over 700 meg so just converts that to kilobytes and then it says sending system as you can see on the phone the phone there's no activity on the phone apart from the fast boot light being on in the top left of the screen now that's a fairly big image file so it may take a little bit of time there you go that's we've got more activity on the screen here so it's sending image bootloader usb download speed was blah 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 in kilobytes per second okay 47.343 seconds writing system bootloader flash off partition system requested uh, bootloader s1 part block and then it goes bootloader erase operating operation complete bad blocks encountered zero now it says bootloader flashing So it's made the connection to the fine fine and we'll just wait for it to flash the image. So this is the equivalent of downloading a pre-rooted image. Well it is a pre-rooted image and you're just flashing the phone with it. Still no activity on the phone, just the blue light in the top left of the screen. okay in the DOS prompt window here it now says bootloader flashing then bootloader flash operation complete okay 72.921 seconds finish total time 120.264 seconds so that's now done um, so we can come out the the command prompt window that's now finished and I'll just get rid of the notepad file now back on the phone because that's now done we can reboot the phone so just remove the USB cable And we'll just switch the phone on. So it's vibrated, say it's on. Just plug in the, the USB cover as the phone boots up. So 
So that comes up now. We just go into it. No, that should be now rooted. So if we just go into settings here, it's not going to show anything different. But if you have a look at the about version, everything's still the same as before, which is cool. Now, way which we can test that this is rooted is I've downloaded Titanium Backup from uh, the Play Store. Now, this is a, a free app, um, so go ahead and download it. See, it's now rooted because it's before. If if you tried running the Titanium Backup app, it would say you don't have root access. Now it's saying a super user request um, allow or deny. So if I allow, and that's gone in there. It's got the first startup screen. Just to click OK to come out of that, and there you go. So that's got a root access now. And if we just scroll through, uh, I think it may be on my launcher. The icons may be there for the super user access. There we go. You've got the super user access icon there. And you can see it's allowed titanium backup access to root so that's how easily you can root the Sony Xperia S smartphone uh, make sure you follow the instructions exactly otherwise this won't work and um, please watch part one if you haven't already unlocked your bootloader which you need to do in order to follow this video as well any questions or comments that you guys might have please hit them up in the comment section below there please hit subscribe from the button up top it doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out what we're doing in the future. Thanks for watching, have a good day and see you next time.